Rahman Rahim. Today we are solving physics numerical. The statement is given as when brakes are applied, the speed of a train decreases from 96 km per hour to 48 km per hour in 800 meter. How much further will the train move before coming to rest? Find the time taken by the train to stop after application of brakes assuming retardation to be constant let's start it solution now we see its initial velocity is given vi is equal to 96 kilometer per hour which is is equal to 96 into 1000 over 60 into 60 which is equal to 96 into 1000 over 3600 on simplification we get 9 60 over 36 960 divided by 36 equal to 26.66 26 26.667 meter per second no its speed reduced to 48 km per hour its final speed is equal to 48 km per hour which is equal to 48 into 1000 over 3600 and we simplify it again it becomes 480 over 36 480 divided by 36 is equal to 13.333 meter per second it's S1 is equal to 800 meter in this process train cover the distance of 800 meter and we denote it with S1 and we have to find the time taken how much will be covered now we need to calculate its acceleration and we need to use a third equation of the motion Two A S one is equal to V I V F square minus V I square two into eight hundred into A is equal to one three point three 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 square minus twenty six point six six seven square sixteen hundred into a is equal to One seven seven point seven seven eight two six point six six seven
माइनस सेवन वन वन पॉइंट वन टू एट एट वन सिक्स जीरो जीरो ए इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन सेवन सेवन पॉइंट सेवन सेवन एट फाइव थ्री थ्री पॉइंट थ्री फाइव और दिस इम्प्लाइज ए इज इक्वल टू माइनस फाइव थ्री थ्री पॉइंट थ्री फाइव ओवर सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड डिवाइड बाय सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री 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 मीटर पर सेकेंड पर सेकेंड सो इट्स एक्सेलरेशन ए इज इक्वल टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री 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 मीटर पर सेकेंड पर सेकेंड now its first part is completed as we find the acceleration and now we have to find the distance traveled by the train after applying the brakes now when brakes are applied and its initial velocity become 48 km per hour which is equal to 13.333 m per second vi is equal to 13.333 meter per second and vf is equal to 0 we have to find the distance and its acceleration is minus 0.333 meter per second per second now we are using third equation of motion once again 2 into a into s2 is equal to vf square minus vi square now putting the values we have vi vf and a 2 into minus 0.333 into s2 is equal to 0 square minus 13.333 square to into 0.333 is equal to 0.666 into s2 is equal to 0 minus 13.333 square 177 point Seven six S two is equal to minus one seven seven point seven six over minus zero point six 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 minus cancel the minus. And S two is equal to one seven seven point seven six over zero point six six six. Now I divide it by divide by point six 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 is equal to two six six point nine two. meter now we have its other part 
which is to find the time taken by the train. Now we are using first question of the motion to find the time. Now we have to find the S2 and now its third part is find the time taken by the train to stop after application of brakes. Its initial velocity Vi is equal to 96 km per hour which is equal to 26.667 meter per second and its final velocity becomes 0 meter per second its acceleration is equal to minus 0 0.333 meter per second per second and we have to find the time t now we use the first equation of motion vf is equal to vi plus at this implies vf minus vi is equal to at and this implies t is equal to vf minus vi over a which is equal to 0 minus 26.667 over minus 0 0.333 and t is equal to minus 26.667 over minus 0 0.333 these two minus cancel each other and on simplification we got 80 second the time taken is 80 second thank you for watching